Hello, this is your good friend, Colette's. And I was just thinking of something funny and silly, but also illustrative. And it relates to Semitic languages. And most Semitic languages, especially the very early ones, uh, the ones directly from this Canaanite influence, not Akkadian, Akkadian is a syllabary, are abjads. And what does abjads mean? An abjad is like an alphabet, but only for consonants. There, there's no, usually not so much they write in the vowels, especially short vowels. They might write in a consonant to signify a long vowel, but short vowels are assumed. And <laughs> for, dead, for, for modern languages like Arabic, um, which actually is not quite an abjad, but it's abjad adjacent. You know, it's we can know what it is because it's, it's a living language. But for some of these old Canaanite languages, we're often guessing as to what vowels, especially short vowels, were used. In these cases, we had to use analysis and all these sort of like deeper levels. We never know for sure. And, and I thought, well, if I were to travel back 4,000 years ago or 3,500 3, years ago, landing in Ugarit or in Biblos or all these Canaanite cities, would I be able to get by just, just speaking, even if I knew every single word that was attested to in modern day that we have from the Phoenician lexicon? It's written, as I said, with primarily consonants. Sometimes, yes, they will use like a certain consonant like Aleph, or ein or wo or yo to convey a long vowel and that's helpful but by and large you don't always know what it means and to kind of demonstrate the the weirdness that i imagine would come from this scenario this time travel scenario hypothetically i used ai and i put in a certain document in english and i had it remove all the vowels then I had it without making assumptions as best as it could just put in random vowels, I guess. <laughs> and we'll see in English how understandable this is. And this is not a one-to-one -one relationship because I'm, I'm not, I am a native English speaker, which means I'm making English assumptions. So if you don't understand this, good luck. You know? <laughs> Even if you speak, you know, Phoenician, Canaanite, Ugaritic, whatever, as best as you can in the modern age good luck understanding anyone in the past without further study without further immersement and exposure and you'll look like a crazy person a weird person maybe get yourself uh zooped <laughs> okay i will skip the beginning because it makes it too obvious to anamas declaratan aftatartan and tadstatas of amarka when in the course of Haman Avance, at Bacamus Nakasari, far on Papla, to dissolve the Pakral Turbans, which have connected them with Anatar, <laughs> and to Sama among the powers of the earth, the Theparata and Akal Statan, with that the laws of Natar and of Natar's Gad, and Tatla them. At that can't respect to the penance of mankind, requires that they shall declare the cassis watch and peel tam to the separation. <laughs> we held this thrift to myself evident that all men are created a call, that they had endowed by Thra Kratar was cartan unanimable. Rags that among these are Lath, Labarti, and the Parsat of Hapanas, that Tasakara the Laracts, governments are Anstitatad among men, Darvang Thrajist Powars from the consent of the Gavrand, that when Avar, any farm of Gavarn Mont, Bacamus distractive. Af these ands at the ragged of the papilla to altar are to abolish at at to adstatat now government layang at fendatan and set prankapals and arna zang 
at Powars at such farm. As Tadam shall Sam most luckily to affect Thra Safti and Happiness. Pradanka and Dad will detect that government's lang established shall not be changed for lacked and transient cases, and according lay all Oxparanka hath shown that men can are more dispassed to suffer, while avils are sufferabala, than to rag themselves by establishing to farms to watch they are cast down. But when Lang Tran of Bassus and Sereptans par sound unvargably thus Sam abject, Avenka's de Sagans to radaka them and dar ablasat to despatism, at thra ragged, at thra deity, to threw off sac government, and to provide new guards for thra vaturous secrety. Such has been the patent suffering cup of these clans, and such as now the necessity which constrains them alter through a farmer systems of government. Through history of present king of Grat Bratton, as history of repatted and jars and serapitans, all having direct object that establishment of an absolute terrene. Of our these status, to prove these lot fits be cemented the candad world. I had refused to assent to lose the most wholesome and necessary for the public gad. Ha has forbid and has given ours to pass lose of a medata and pressing a partanka and list suspended. On thro a pretend tang has a sense shall be obtained, and when has suspended, ha has unatally neglected a tan to them. Ha have refused to pass those lows for the accommodation of large draft tracts of papla, unless those papla walled relakash the rect of rapasatan and the luglas latar. <laughs> Rugged and Mestabla to them, and from a Dabla to Tyrants only. <laughs> Has called together like a slat of Badass, and Placus, and a shell, and comfortable and distant from the depastery of Thra Public Records, for the sole purpose of fought again them into Complankanka, with has Masars. He has dissolved. Represent Tavahasses repeatedly, for apascending what manly farmness has Anversans and the racks of the Papla. Okay, who understood what I just said? I'm sure you guys could pick out a few words here. I mean, like, I knew what I put in, so it was obvious for me. I'm thinking it's going to be obvious for a lot of you. It, I, I had a hard time keeping a straight face, but this is one of these uh, linguistic historical experiments, you know? We're going to be doing more of these on this channel, talking about experimental linguistics. It should be fun. Have a wonderful day, and... Bew! <laughs>